Good afternoon internet and welcome to another sketchbook review of mine. Now this video it excites me because this is the shortest time I took to complete a sketchbook and this is the sketchbook I'm going to be reviewing today. This is what I've been using over the last two months and it's been quick. I've tried to keep it in a single style. It's an A5 size, it's got a hard backing which really helped me and it's also got this rubber band which helped me keep the pages together. Otherwise the pages tend to fold at the edges when you kind of uh, uh, you know dump them into your uh, handbags. So without wasting more time, I will discuss my sketchbooks with you. So the paper is quite uh, thin but I use this as an everyday sketchbook. I didn't probably look at you know a particular theme or a particular setup. But what underlies the entire uh, sketchbook is I've used pen and ink, permanent ink and uh, I've also backed them up with little watercolors. I use this to sketch whatever I saw even if I had five minutes of spare time. So I made it a point to carry this everywhere and and it was also a light book because heavy books tend to become bulky when you walk, uh, walk with them around. This was mostly used when I was at home. I think 50% of the sketches are done when I'm at home. And you will find it, a lot of my husband and my family being featured in these sketches. So a sketch like this which kind of gives you a single subject is interesting because it also gives you a lot of trial and error with the colors. So I did that, I kind of studied how colors work, more muted tones, more stronger tones, it's interesting. This is the view of my room from where I sat and sketched, I'm on the bed. This is the cricket ground that's seen from uh, my balcony and I saw these three little boys sitting around, my plug points. So you know, you really don't need a physical or real setup subject to sketch. You should be able to sketch whatever you see and there has to be a language which you will evolve with it. Now this is when I took my son to the play area and uh, everybody's sitting on the floor, kids are playing around, and there's ample time to sketch. This is interesting, this is not a pencil sketch, this is a pen, pen from Copic, it's a grey colour marker. And I also tried out detailing and bringing textures out with a lot of lines and a lot of colour. The auto rickshaw, they never fail to entice me, the colour and you know, the, they're, they're nice uh, subjects to work on, especially if you're waiting in the car or wait, uh, you know, it, it gives you a lot of, um, it's, it's a good subject to kind of work on. Again, when I was in a conference and then, you know, in a car you have ample time at the signal, especially in India where you have three or four minutes per signal. There's good time to create a sketch of what you see and come back and render them in your style. It's also the way I study and also write about my day, make little notes here and there. They make it interesting. This was from a photograph where I wanted to document a very special moment I shared with my son. So uh, I got that done up. So exactly... Um, the point here, the point in this sketchbook is sketches don't need to be very refined, they just need to add or, or, or document the crux of that moment. An old man sitting in a chair in one of the play areas. And you know, the days I didn't have anything to draw, I drew myself. I, I, you know, I kind of used up the time to use the hand as my subject and you know, kind of practice my strokes. So I'm glad I completed it. I have a few more color uh, color shots to do, but I'm done with this sketchbook and there's so much I've learned about it and so much joy doing it. I've had good fun and uh, yes, I'm ready for the next one and I hope you continue to do your sketchbooks also because sketchbooks don't need to be very strict. 
just be casual about them and just document whatever you see. Hope you enjoyed it and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.